Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another SSR analysis video. And in today's video, we are taking a look at agility and STR go tanks. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to tell you guys which one is the best. So if we start off with agility go tanks, it gives two key to all types. His super attack causes supreme damage, and his passive skill gives him a 10% attack boost for every key orb obtained. So this card is obviously a nuke because of his passive skill. But even if you're not trying to nuke with this card, he is definitely going to be dealing a ton of damage. And if we have a look at his link skills, he has the same warrior race, the same lineage, the innocence, shocking speed, fuse fighter, and and supreme power. So the main key links that he has are the same lineage, shocking speed and fuse fighter which are some very good links that top tier units share and because of these very good links it's definitely easy to link him up with top tier units. So before I give my overall opinion on this card let's have a look at his stats. He has 7725 HP, 7530 attack and 3725 defense. So overall this unit is definitely very useful. He has a very good leader skill that gives two key to all types. He does a ton of damage thanks to his passive skill and the supreme damage multiplier and as I said before he also has some very good key Links. So if we now move on to the STR go tank, his leader skill gives free key when HP is 50% or above, his super attack causes supreme damage, and his passive skill gives him a 77% attack boost when he is the first attacker in a turn. And if we have a look at his links, he has the same warrior race, the same lineage, the innocence, shocking speed, fuse fighter, and Kamehameha. So both of these units clearly share very similar links. However, the main difference is that this go tank has the Kamehameha link instead of supreme power. So before we move on, let's have a look at his stats. He has 8,497 HP, 7,976 attack, and 4,068 defense. So if we now move on to the final part of this video. So in second place comes the STR Go Tanks, which means that in first place comes the Agility Go Tanks. So in my opinion, the reason why STR Go Tanks comes in second place is definitely because of the amount of restrictions and requirements that the card has. For example, for his leader skill to activate your HP needs to be over 50%, and if you want to get that attack boost from his passive skill, he has to be the first attacker in a turn. So even though the Agility Go Tanks gives one less key, he is definitely the better option as a leader because he does not have a restriction. And not to mention, the Agility Go Tanks is definitely capable of dealing more damage most of the time thanks to his passive skill. They both share the exact same key link so that really isn't a problem. However, in the end, I definitely feel like Agility Go Tanks is the best. But that is the video guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your opinions and your suggestions down below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Dragon Ball content. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.